Hello guys, it's Megan Graham and I literally just had to redo my live stream because I was doing one and um, my connection was unstable. So just checking, but this connection should be good. The one hard thing about doing live streams on the road is that, um, and for those of you guys that don't know, um, my name is Megan Graham. I travel full time in an RV with my four pets and my husband, Jeff. And um, if I lost you guys in the last live stream, I'm so sorry. I got this one going as soon as I possibly could. Um, so we are traveling in an RV, in a 36 foot RV. We've got, let me just see if I can show my lols. We've got my little Lola and all of my other little Yorkies. And if you were on my last live stream, which I just had to interrupt because the connection was unstable. And that is the one downfall of traveling um, it's really hard, even with, um, we've got, what is it called? Uh, Starlink. Starlink is good, but it was actually better in the East than it is. We're in California now, and it doesn't always pick everything up as well as it did before. Um, and Brittany, if you wind up on this live stream, I know you had just asked me a question and I definitely want to answer it for you. So if you have found this new live stream that I've just started, please let me know. And guys, if you're joining me now, please feel free to comment. Um, I have a, a lot of different things that I talk about on my live streams, but I do love to help people out with their Yorkshire Terriers. Um, so what I was talking about before my connection became really unstable with my other live stream was why we decided to travel in a travel trailer. And if you told me so I'm 46 years old. And if you told me when I met my husband, Jeff, which was seven years ago, that I would ever be traveling in a travel trailer, I would have told you that you were insane. I never would have imagined that I would do that. Um, and hello, Brittany. Um, so mold poisoning isn't really something you catch. Um, mold poisoning, how do I say this? Um, basically, and Brittany, this is why I was talking to you about the possibility that it was affecting your dog because I have personally been through toxicity. I guess you could call it mold poisoning as well. It's kind of both. Um, so basically here's the, um, in a nutshell, what happens. 25% of people are susceptible to getting sick from mold if they're exposed to it. Um, I have a genetic predisposition to getting sick from mold. And 25% of people have a gene mutation, I believe it's called MTHGFR. And if this gene is expressed for whatever reason, which it could be expressed because you've had trauma, because you've had so many different um, chemical exposures, there's a lot of different reasons. Um, so 25% of people, when they're exposed to mold toxins and mold toxins are, they're called mycotoxins and they're actually a poison. Um, most people, 75% of people, if they're exposed to the toxins, their body is able to recognize them and get those toxins out. Unfortunately, 25% of people, that's the estimate that they give, are susceptible to keeping mold in their bodies um, and also other toxins in their bodies. And so they have trouble unless they are given something or take something, take given something to take to remove the mold toxins, the mold actually binds up as a poison and makes the person sick. Um, so Brittany, it's not really something you catch. Um, and I'm, I'm not like, I hope you know, I mean this and like, I'm just explaining it. Um, it's something that just certain people are more susceptible to. Like I noticed that Lola out of all my dogs got very, very sick. And actually my other dog, Teddy passed away when we had our mold exposure because certain dogs and certain people are more susceptible to mold. Um, and so there's a lot of different things that go into your healing if you do have a mold exposure. But for me, I was really having trouble healing. One, in a traditional building, we owned a really expensive, nice, beautiful brownstone. Um, and it's, it's not that it had very high mold levels, but it had too much for me to heal. Um, mold is present in almost every place in different degrees. Um, but the reason that we chose this trailer in particular is one, we could control where we put it so we could move to different places depending on how the air quality was. And it's also, so it's an ATC trailer. So it's basically an all metal trailer. And even our flooring is a mat that can be picked up and cleaned. And these are vinyl, so they're super, super easy for me to clean. Um, and if we do have a water intrusion problem, it's really easy 
to clean up and um, and get better from. So that is why we wound up living in this trailer. Um, I have to say, I also love it. And even though this one, so this was our second one, we bought another trailer and unfortunately I wasn't able to be in it and feel good. So that one is in storage. We're still paying for it. They want very much, they're trying to make it so I can't ever mention it, even though we also own it. It was $600,000. So it was, it was like all of our money. Our money is tied up in that trailer. But anyway, not all of our money, but a lot of money all my money. Um, so anyway, that trailer didn't work. Um, and it was a little scary, but we got this trailer, which was a lot less money than the first one. And in hindsight, I wish that I had only ever purchased this trailer because had I known, I mean, I guess that's, that's what hindsight is, right? You wish that you could have predicted the future. Um, this trailer has been an absolute dream come true. And I want to show you guys just really quickly. It's not my exact style. So I'm just going to tilt my computer. So excuse my photo skills. Like if you look this way, our kitchen has almost like a NASCAR racing strap or stripe, um, the little backdrop. And things like that really bothered me when we first got it. But now I love this little trailer so, so much. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, we just have this really simple dinette. Um, it's always like very lived in. Like I have a wedge pillow so that I can lean against the window and be comfy um, because this is kind of our couch as well. And then in the back, we've got a dog bassinet. That entire ramp opens. I really want to open it one day and show you guys. Um, and right now where we're staying, let me see if I can show you out the window. We have a beautiful ocean view. So you get to go to all these places that you, I mean, I might not get to see as much. And on the bright side, I'm going to start brushing little Lola too. She's been so patient. On the bright side, it's been so, so good for my health. And I am seeing some really big improvements. So that's kind of what brought us there. Um, Jackie says, hi, Megan. This connection is much better. Great to see you and the babies. I'm so glad it's better. I'm so sorry about the first connection. For whatever reason, my computer keeps hopping onto the RV parks um, Wi-Fi, which isn't really bad, but it's not really good. Um, so even though we have our own Wi-Fi, it's not choosing our Wi-Fi. So glad this one's better. Hello, LA Foster. It's nice to see you. It says, I hope you do a chat about what you learned from the Colorado functional medicine doctor. Um, I should do that. So I, I hope you guys don't mind if I mention it here, but basically, when I was in Colorado, um, there was a great, great functional medicine doctor, and I've been doing a ton to get better on my own. Um, I give my pets the poly pet detox to help them to strengthen their immune systems and get rid of the toxins that they were exposed to with the mold. Um, and then um, on top of that, I do all these things for myself. And so I've been taking supplements. Um, I, I use a sauna. I have a PEMF mat and I've done an awful lot and I really thought that I was so much better. Um, but our friend that we rented the guest house from in Colorado has been seeing this functional medicine doctor and he actually was doing IVs and I am a real wimp and I really hate needles and I was pretty much going to do anything to avoid getting an IV because it just sounded so unpleasant. But um, LA, he does something called um, ozone. Um, and, and I can't explain exactly what ozone is. I believe it's an unstable molecule that is given as an IV and it helps to kill things that shouldn't be in your body um, while kind of leaving your body and the parts that should be working alone. It's not a very good description. Um, so I went with my friend Andrew to the doctor and I was really nervous to do anything simply because I'm such a sensitive person. Um, but we talked about it a lot. And so the first few visits, I got what's called glutathione. And people that have what I have, which is generally an, uh, an inability to detox easily, tend to be lacking in glutathione, which is the most important antioxidant of your entire body. So first I got a few glutathione IVs and definitely noticed that it was working and it was helping me noticeably to detox. Before I left, I was also able to get a few ozone um, IVs. And I will say, I don't know if, have you heard of them or have you ever gotten one before? 
Um, because what I will say is I don't think it's something that anybody should do until they've prepped and they're in a pretty good place. This is just me personally. Um, after I got the IV, I felt worse for several days, but it was also that I was noticeably detoxing. And so I had a full dose ozone IV before I left. And um, for a few days after, I was actually pretty sick, but it wasn't that the IV made me sick. I can definitely tell what's going on. Um, it was that I was noticeably clearing out things. It's like a spring cleaning for your body, basically. Um, and so it was definitely hard to go through. So the reason I've been a little bit quiet and I haven't been on my social media is that I actually was like resting in bed a lot and I didn't have as much energy and um, and things like that. Now it's really coming back, but there was some, gosh, I don't know how to say it without being gross, but there's some visible stuff that happened. So um, I look forward to getting another one, but I'm going to let my body rest in between, replenish and then keep going. Um, for me, I think it was a really important thing to do. Um, one thing that's always, I just saw someone on Instagram, I think it was like yesterday, and she was a personal trainer and she was knocking detoxing and saying that people that detox, like it's not real. And I just thought, wow, if I hadn't detox, I don't think I would be here today. And obviously I've done so many different things. Um, I think if I had detoxed my dog, he would still be here today. But unfortunately, I didn't know about doing it then. So anyway, it's a big, it's a thing I'm really passionate about. Um, that doctor was absolutely great. He was in basalt. And if you ever want to know who it was, just feel free to message me um, on my Instagram. It's Megan Graham Fitness, and I'll send it to you in a direct message. I usually just don't share my medical stuff and everything online. I don't, it just seems so personal, but I'm happy to send it to you in a message if you would like to know. Um, Brittany says, wow, so crazy. I live in a condo. I wonder how you would know if there is mold. That is so scary. So Brittany, it's a really interesting thing. A lot of people assume that if there's mold, um, you're going to see it or smell it and that you can, but usually by the time you can see it or smell it, the mold is so, so bad. Um, so a lot of times, like in my condo building, it was an extremely expensive condo in Boston. And what happened, it looked sparkling clean on the outside. There were no funny smells. You never would have known it, but you know, you, it was after the flood that all my symptoms started. And it was after the flood that, um, Teddy came out of remission. So basically you can have your place tested. Um, but here's where it gets really hairy. You don't want somebody that will only air test because mold spores tend to be in dust. So usually you could do something called an E it's E R M I. I think you just say ERMI. Um, you could do that kind of a test that works really well. You can do that on your own. Um, I would look at, there's an Instagram account called Mold Mold Finders that's really, really good. And he talks about how to test and things like that. Um, it's just such an interesting thing. Like my biggest thing is if all of a sudden several people maybe in your household start having issues, or if you just unexplained start to feel really tired, you have gut issues, things that you think are food sensitivities, I would usually get your air or your water tested. It's so funny, but after having this happen, and then of course I had another issue where I got sick this summer from poor air quality, um, you really can't be too careful. And I'm not trying to scare anyone, it's fixable stuff. Like if you have an issue, there's so many different things that you can do to make your home more healthy for you, your children, your spouse, your pets. Um, Brittany, where it gets confusing with mold is that since everybody doesn't have the same genes, everybody doesn't get sick at the same rate. So my husband did feel puffy and like he was getting a cold, but he never got super, super sick like I did. So for most normal people, when they leave the moldy environment for the day, their body is able to kind of just scoot that mold out of their body. But for people that can't, it just keeps recirculating in their bodies and they get sick. So it can really make you feel like you're bananas because you're so sick and the other person's not. Um, I'm very fortunate to have my husband in that he has been such a trooper and he's taken such good care of me. Even now um, on the days, like, so the days following the ozone, I felt really not well. And I knew why I wasn't worried. I didn't think that the ozone made me sick or anything like that. But Jeff took such good care of me. He made my food. Um, I was a little bit moody because it also can tend to bring out some like mood swings or anxiety, which sounds so weird because I haven't really had a lot of that my whole life, but brings up some funny, funny things. And fortunately I have a partner that didn't get sick because if we had both 
sick from the same thing, it would have been super, super hard to deal with. That is for sure. Um, but Brittany, you can do a test. Look up ERMI tests. Um, I should link to it. If you look, I have a bunch of videos up as well. I have a whole mold playlist. And the reason I have it is that, sorry, I always get hairs on me when I'm grooming my pets. Um, the reason I have that mold playlist is just that when this happened to me, it was such a foreign thing and I didn't really know where to turn. And I wanted to give people comfort and maybe give them ideas of what it could be. Everybody should always test for themselves to figure out if it's really that or if it's something else. But um, it was definitely a time like when I got sick where, it, you know, I went from being this like vivacious, super healthy person to not doing well. Um, and so I wanted to normalize it and let people know that it's like if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone, which isn't to scare anyone. But it's just like knowing that there are things that you can do to get better. And I try to share my little hacks of whatever helped me to regain as much of my health as possible. It's obviously been a long road since I'm traveling full time in this RV to get better, but I have full faith that I will get all the way better. Linda, hello, Linda. Linda says, hi, Megan. Is that Lola? Such a cutie. It is Lola. Linda, I love her so much and she's having so much fun traveling. Um, she loves to be with her dad all the time. So for those of you that don't know, Jeff and I were living in separate cities for seven years while we were first together. And um, now we live together full time while we travel and figure out where our eventual, we will eventually be getting a home again too. So we're not traveling in a trailer forever, but we're still planning on doing it for a while while I stabilize my immune system and my health and also just enjoy getting some fresh air and being a tourist in lots of different places. Hello, Penguin Robot. It says, hi, I'm at work and I'm glad I can listen in. Thank you so much for joining. It's always so nice to see you guys. Linda, we are in California. Um, feel free to message me and I'll tell you where we are. I usually don't really like broadcast my location just because the world is such a funny place, but we're in California and it is beautiful. Um, hello, Deborah. Sorry about that other live stream connection. It was just the worst connection. Um, I was on the, we're staying at a really nice RV park, but the, usually the Wi-Fi at RV parks, I think they maybe just have one Wi-Fi and it's not really enough to service all of the different RVs and things. So you tend to get kind of kicked off and had a, an unstable connection. Um, yeah, LA, I was so skeptical. So our friend, Andrew, we were staying at his, his guest home and he told me about the treatment and I just wasn't sure about it. I'm very, very skeptical. And, you know, for those of you guys that don't know, I did not grow up going to any kind of, you know, integrative doctors. Everything was really, really traditional. So I'm still really skeptical, which I think is okay. Every time a new treatment or something new is presented and I take my time to just make sure that, you know, it's safe for me. And I, I really liked the doctor though. Um, but my biggest thing, and Ellie, I think I think you mentioned this. Um, I know you're working with a functional doctor, and I think you said that he's having, or he or she rather, is having you do cell core. Um, but I have to say, so I did cell core, and I talk a lot about microbe formulas, which is it's basically the same as cell core. They it's a sister company. It's the same the same company. There's a retail and a physician side. I use the physician side. Um, I love their products, but I usually talk about microbe just because a lot of people can't get cell core. Um, but LA, if one thing I would say is that I think that the cell core that I did, which I've been using for a year and a half, and it really helps to support your kidneys, your liver, um, and your lymphatic system. I think that was key. And this is just, I'm not a doctor obviously, but I think that anybody that would try to jump right into ozone could potentially get sick if they didn't do something else to prepare first because it is a really strong treatment. Um, so it sounds like you're already preparing and things like that. You just, um, like, I know for me, I think it's a great, great treatment. I don't think I could do more than one treatment every two weeks. Um, one of my friends did five in a row and I could for sure, I'm very sensitive. So I know like there's certain, there are some times, right, where you're doing something good, but too much of a good thing when you're a sensitive individual cannot be a good thing. And too much of a bad thing is definitely a bad thing. So um, anyway, I really love the treatment though. I am planning on traveling back to see that doctor, probably gonna give myself a few more weeks and then I might 
it's kind of extravagant, but I might just fly to Aspen for the day or for like a couple days, get a treatment and then leave again. Um, I'm just, if I find a practitioner that I like and that I trust and I think they know what they're doing, I would really like to see that person. So, but I, I found it to be really, really valuable. And I'm so glad that I actually took a little chance and did it because I thought I was a lot further along and a lot better with my health than I was. Um, one thing that I just got too for the trailer is I did not bring my sauna because I wasn't feeling well. We had the first trailer that didn't work out. Um, put that one in storage. We were living with my mom for a month, which was, you know, nice to be with my mom. She's silly, but it was kind of tough. And so I never brought my sauna that I usually use a few times a week, which if you guys haven't been through this, it helps you to sweat out the toxins, which is healthy. Um, I don't have one. So I actually just ordered a new sauna. I have a Therasage that's in storage and I ordered a higher dose. I don't know if you guys have seen those. They're sauna blankets. And then I went on, um, I think it's Kourtney Kardashian's website. It's called Poosh. And I ordered a little like waffle weave liner so that I can have the liner inside the sauna blanket and wash it after every time. Um, so anyway, I'm excited. I'm getting my health stuff back here. The dogs are loving to travel with us, guys. They I would say we, so we were just in Las Vegas and Las Vegas was not, it wasn't bad. It was a really nice park, but um, I don't know how many of you guys have traveled to Las Vegas. I've never traveled there with my pets and we knew that we wanted to go out in Las Vegas, but I also not feel, so we don't like to leave our pets alone when we're traveling unless we really, really feel that the park is super secure. And so we were in Vegas and I looked at care.com and there were just profiles that were, I don't know, like they didn't have reviews or they hadn't been on there for long. And then I found one gal who was a dog trainer and she was so lovely, but she was so expensive an hour. Um, but I still hired her. And so I'm still going to put a video up. She did some training with the dogs. So she babysat because I really wanted to go out and ride a mechanical bull but i was not going to be worrying about all my babies because las vegas is kind of seedy and i feel like somebody could break into your trailer and steal or or, or worse your your babies so i hired her and she tried to do some training and she said lola is not food motivated at all and that lola does lola she said this one my little spunky girl she said lola did not she hears daddy in here but she said Lola did not want to do anything at all. And that Alfie was for sure um, the one that tried to please the most and things. So I'm still going to, um, I was going to just post the videos of her working with them. I don't really have a commentary because Jeff and I actually went out for the evening. Um, I was not feeling my best, but I still, I had already reserved her and paid for her time and it was really expensive. So we went out and I rode a mechanical bull. Um, it was a really funny night. I wasn't sick, just um, recovering from that ozone treatment. So anyway, um, it was very cute though. The videos are adorable and she did such a good job watching them. So I was, I was glad that I found someone. I was actually thinking of also including her contact details just in case anybody is traveling in Vegas at any time with their pets and they wanted to find someone to watch them because I know how hard it is to find a good person. Um, it was really funny though to have a dog sitter come into our trailer because it's like such a tiny little space to have you know another person in um so just tried to make it super clean and inviting um and i was like if there's any way you can try not to go in and out that would be so awesome because i worry so much about the pets getting out when we're traveling because it's like goodness knows we go to so many different places Oops, I'm just getting these little things out of their eyes. So it's funny, a lot of the parks that we go to um, only allow two animals. <laughs> we have more than two animals, as you guys know. So um, we oftentimes take them on separate walks. It's not every park, and I'm assuming it's probably more so for you know larger, larger animals and things, but I don't really want to push my luck. So are kind of under the radar because we have um, so many dogs. But 
funny thing, I've run into other people at parks and they have exactly the same thing. Um, I, I believe personally that a lot of people get an RV simply because they have pets and they want to be able to travel with them. Um, eventually, but not anytime soon, we think we might want to get more of a van. So if we wanted to take um, smaller trips and have you know more accessibility, we think a van might be nice sometimes. Um, sorry, it sounds like there's a big truck backing up there with its backup sounds there. Um, so eventually we might want something smaller, but right now we just really, I mean, I'm so in love with this trailer. I just think it's the nicest home and it has been really, really helpful for my health. So I'm, I'm grateful that we found one that's so nice. Um, hello, Stacy. Nice to see you. It says, yes, better video now. Very clear, sharp image. Oh, that's so good. Well, this is our, um, what is it called? Starlink. So we have a little satellite that we bring with us. So when we travel, we have so much, not so much, but quite a bit of stuff back there. We've got like a Thule um, baby stroller with the dog attachments and um, our cat tree. We put Jeff's golf clubs in there. Um, we are going to be, so we're staying at this park for a while and then we're going to another one closer to one of his friends so he can play at some really awesome golf courses, which my husband is a great golfer. So he is so excited about that. Stacy, how are you feeling, by the way? I know that you were sick before. Um, are you totally recovered now? Are you feeling good? I hope so. Guys, if you are joining me now, I just wanted to reintroduce myself. I know that I always assume people know me, but it's not always just my viewers that are on the live stream. My name is Megan Graham. I have my three Yorkies with me and we travel full time right now in an RV um, all over the country. We started in the Northeast in my hometown of Hancock, New Hampshire. And we are now um, kind of traveling the LA and California area. Um, we were in Aspen for a little while at my husband's business. So we have been all over. Stacy says, I am almost back to normal. Thank you for asking. Stacy. that is awesome to hear. I'm so, so glad that you're almost back to normal. It was only, I feel like, was it about 10, two, no, maybe two weeks ago that you told me that you were sick. So it takes, it takes a little while, right? Um, but I'm glad that you're doing so much better. Um, that makes me really happy. So thank you for letting me know. Guys, if you are just joining, also, if you don't mind, if you like the video and you want to hit the thumbs up, it always makes a huge difference for me. Time, always feel free to jump in with any questions. Um, it is Yorkie story time, but as everybody knows, different interests that I love to talk about, I've been kind of separating my chats. That doesn't mean that you cannot ask things um, about, you know, like other questions. I'm going to do another chat soon um, about my breast explant because I just am trying, I'm always trying to like give back and answer questions. If somebody else is going through the same thing, I hope that it inspires them a little bit um, and gives them some ideas. I also do some detox things for my mold toxicity. So try to separate them, but it doesn't mean that you can't ask questions about anything and everything. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, there's no such thing as getting here late. Welcome. It's so nice to see you. Um, thank you for joining anytime, you guys. You're never late. It's just nice to see you. I love chatting with you guys especially these days where it's me, my pets, my husband, and all of a sudden I'm not seeing. So for you guys that don't know, I also own a hair salon on Newberry Street in Boston. I'm a hair colorist by trade, although you wouldn't know it looking at my hair today. And um, so I miss talking to my clients who are also my friends. So it's so fun to get on here and chat with you guys. I really, I enjoy every minute of it, just so you know. I do have a hair appointment tomorrow and I'm so excited because I have not, if you can believe it, gotten my hair professionally highlighted in, I think, five and a half months now. Um, I was supposed to get it done before I left Boston, but I wound up getting super sick and going to the hospital, so I never got to get the hair done, the brows done, all of that stuff. Um, I need to find someone to do my eyebrows in LA as well. It's so hard to be, like, not from here. Um, anyway, but I'm excited about the beauty. Um, Deborah says, when you're in Las Vegas, give the rescue there. And give the rescue there and as for maybe i'm not back i mean vegas isn't my like ideal spot i like this spot more because we can walk by the beach with the dogs um, 
for me feels just safer. Um, but at some point, we'll probably go back to Vegas. I actually went there. I was supposed to work out um, with, I don't know if you guys know who Brett Contreras is. He's my weightlifting coach. Um, he was being really flaky. So we were supposed to work out and he kind of would be like, oh, do you want to work out tomorrow? And I'd say yes. And then he was like, oh, do you want to work out right now? I don't know. It, it reminded me of when I was dating and there would be a guy that probably had other girlfriends and he would like not make plans with you. And then he would ask you out at the very last second. So anyway, never wound up working out with him, which was a little disappointing. He's been my weightlifting coach for 12 years, but no big deal. We had a nice time in Vegas. We went to ride a mechanical bull as well. I posted the video on my Instagram. Um, they had to turn the bull off because they couldn't throw me off, but it was like the... It, Literally, my technique was so ugly. I was just really scrappy and I did not give up. It was so funny. Um, and let's see. Stacy says, how was it maneuvering the trailer in California, especially near LA? So Stacy and everyone, I'm so lucky. My husband, Jeff, is so capable. He's so good at driving our trailer. Um, I will say it is a fifth wheel trailer which you would think so um for those of you guys that don't know i should probably explain because if i didn't live in a trailer at this point i wouldn't know this a fifth wheel actually goes it's it's attached in the bed of your truck so we've got a one ton truck and it attaches in the bed of your truck which actually means even though it's really big when you drive it it drives and it's extremely extremely stable um the only downfall of driving through la was that there was so much traffic and um it happened to be a day where i wasn't feeling well so that was kind of rough but um it was a lot of traffic and it was a long drive and by the end the babies were crying i just don't think a five hour drive is ever good for our babies so i told my husband i was like from now on drives should never ever be more than um but three and a half hours. It's just too much. And you can't explain to them why they're in the car. Um, so, but it wasn't that bad. And Jeff is an amazing driver. So he handles it really well. And this park is like made and accommodates big rigs really well. Um, I love having a big trailer because we have, so we have a bedroom in the back over the hitch. We have a really nice little, just little kitchen. We don't have a dishwasher or anything, but it's all that we need. And then we have another bed that is up there on the ceiling in case like say i wasn't feeling well one night jeff could have his own bed we would each have a queen bed and this thing can fold down into another bed so if like one of my husband's children wanted to stay with us we have so many beds um which should be awesome um yorkie paws said do all three get a bath weekly or what so when we lived in a home yes they always got a bath weekly everything this is one of the things i was saying at the very beginning when you're living so for now we're living full-time in a trailer while we travel all over the country experience new places and i work on getting my health back and um it's harder to do things in a trailer so i would say in a trailer they probably get a bath more like every two weeks but i usually take like a wet washcloth and i fix up her face and I take off any goop and things like that. Um, they just don't get quite as many baths when we're living in here because everything is a bigger deal, including doing laundry. So we could get laundry in this trailer, but it's I'd rather have the space as a closet. Um, and so we don't have laundry here. We just do it in, um, in different places. Um, oh, guys, I'm sorry if the audio now i don't know why it could be let me just check my connection and make sure that it didn't hit me off the connection i'm still on my connection but i don't know why the audio is poor it might just be let me know if it gets any better i'm really sorry about that um how did i get started traveling in a trailer did someone show you or did you just get started penguin asked so i heard about it because it's a popular thing believe it or not a lot of people that get sick from mold toxicity choose to travel in a trailer because they can control kind of their environment so if an environment doesn't feel good they can move and on top of it it's very manageable if you have a certain type of trailer um, it can be easier to deal with if you get any water intrusions um, keep clean so it's kind of it can be a really good healing environment so that was why we decided to get started and my husband is just a very capable guy he used to own several collision centers so he knows how to drive a trailer how to maintain the trailer 
I don't really have to do much of the trailer stuff. Like if we're moving, I help put away stuff. I make it cozy. I do a lot of the cleaning. So we travel with like a melee vacuum. We have an air filter, but my husband does a lot of the trailer stuff. Um, before we decided to live full time in a trailer, I had never traveled in a moving trailer before. So it was really taking a huge leap to leave. Um, and I'm a huge homebody. I love my mom. I love my family, my clients, my comforts. So leaving and traveling in a tiny space with my husband that I've never lived full time with was really taking a huge leap. Um, but it has been everything that I hoped it would be. And um, the the babies love it. They love traveling. They love their little home. It's just, it was just, I wanted my health back and it has been working as I, as I hoped it would. The first one did not work out well at all. You still own it. It's in storage and I cannot be in it. Um, but this one has been a dream. So anyway, it's been a really good experience. I don't really focus on the bad experience that happened this summer because, um, I'm just happy that we found this great trailer and we're traveling in it. Um, Thank you so much, Stacy. It is always so great to see you too. Um, sorry that closed captioning doesn't work. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it works on live streams probably. I don't know why the, why the audio is not good. That is the downfall of, but if that's, if that's the only downfall, then I'll do my best. I don't know why it's better sometimes than other times. There is like a loud, I don't know, it sounds like a dump truck or something that's making those, um, oh, I'm sorry, Stacy. I wish I could turn on captions. I'll see if there's any, let me see, is there, mm. message delay, redirect, I don't, I don't think there's any closed captioning on this video and I don't know if it could be just, can you hear me better if I lean forward or is it just as bad? I'm going to look at my connection one more time, but there is a loud truck that's going around the park. And I don't know if it could be that. Jill says, hey, this is so off topic. You can be off topic. Don't even worry about it. So please feel free to ignore me. But I left a comment on one of your videos a while ago about how much I appreciate you bringing attention to parasites in first, first world countries. Oh my gosh, don't worry about it. And I know it's such a weird thing and people always want to think that they don't exist. But yeah, I do try to just bring attention to it because it's definitely one of the things that keeps people that get sick from mold sick because their immune systems were so compromised. So thank you so much for thanking me for that. It's a weird thing for me to talk about, but it's so common and people just have no idea. Debbie says, Megan, it could be Stacy's connection because I can hear you very well. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know. That makes me feel so good. And oh, Miss Millie, you can hear me just fine and you're in London. Oh my gosh, thank you for joining me from London. What time is it there? Um, and Jell Kel says, it's been a crazy journey, but I basically, this led me to find it. I'm so glad and I can't stop laughing. Um, so Jell, uh, one thing I was talking about earlier, I don't know if you were on my live stream, but was the fact that I got a few ozone IVs. I don't know if you've heard of those and I think it depends on your functional doctor, but, um, if you haven't heard of ozone, maybe, um, well, you could Google it or you could use the other search engine that has the word duck in it and you probably get better results. But anyway, um, check out ozone and with that search term and you might like have some interesting things pop up as well. Also, feel free to send me a direct message on my Instagram. It's Megan Graham Fitness. I'm happy to tell you about my experience with that. It was, um, yeah, epic. I don't even know what to tell you, but crazy. Um, Linda, I'm so glad that you can hear me. That's awesome. Um, Stacy says, glad to hear it isn't everyone. I will shut down and sign back on. And it's, oh, 9.52 p.m. Thank you for joining me so late. I really appreciate it. Jackie says, audio reception is good. And you're in, in the UK too. Where's my next puppy? Who's my next? What about puppy? I'm just going to get another puppy and keep grooming and chatting with you guys. Sweatpants. And I this sweatshirt might be, I might be wearing my sweatshirt backwards, guys. But it probably looks the same either way. It's aloe yoga. And I just realized that they probably would not have put the tag in the front, but that's okay. Deborah says there is very bad weather coming, um, could interfere with signal. 
I hope there's not really bad weather coming to California because I swear to you, if there is bad weather coming, you do not want to be in a trailer. Um, definitely storms, wind, everything just feels so much more intense when you're in a trailer instead of a home. So we would be shifting our location if it was going to be bad weather. Our first two days in California was so windy and rainy and crazy. So I'm really happy that now I look outside and the weather is beautiful. It's like 62 degrees and I might do, I think I might do film a little video after this as well. Tomorrow I'm going to be really busy because we are, I'm going to go to my hair appointment, which will probably take a really long time because he's got a lot to do since it's been so long since I've gotten my hair done. I'm going to go to Jennifer Aniston colorist and I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. Um, I think he's really good. I hope so. This is the storm. Nicole heading up here from Florida right now. Ooh, I'm, I don't think it's going to come to California. Um, absolutely gel. So I think, um, anytime it sounds weird, but anytime you're ill, any kind of trauma or, um, depression or different, like if you're not happy, it's easier to get sick. I don't, that's the easiest way that I can say it. Um, and it doesn't mean that just because people are unhappy, they get sick. But I do think that your body being spiritually and just in a consistent and happy place makes it easier for it to heal. So I loved my life in Boston, Joe. I did, but I was on a treadmill. I was so busy every single day of my life. Um, I was so busy. I had two not full time, but two assistants working in my home just to help me keep things going because I was running an online business and running my salon and doing all this stuff. And now I am much more laid back. Like later today, I'm going to cook some really good Korean barbecue chicken. I'm making a half batch of organic chocolate chip cookies. So things are just a lot more relaxed. And for me with, I think it was going to be very hard for me to get my health back going a million miles an hour. Oh, sorry. This is my darn um, scanner trying to update itself. It always does that. Anyway, so when you're relaxed and your life isn't like constantly going on a treadmill and you're not going like crazy, I think it's a lot easier to have good health. Um, high stress levels make everything more difficult for sure. So I do agree with you. Miss Millie says my fur baby is going to the vet tomorrow. She has a loose milk tooth in the back that just won't come out. I hate handing her over. Are they um, are they gonna put her under and take out the tooth, Miss Millie? Do you know what they're doing with it? It says been spoiling her all day. I just feel so bad for her in discomfort. I'm sorry that she's in discomfort too. It is the worst thing when, when our animals aren't feeling good. I know it's just so upset, so upsetting. Um, when my animals are feeling happy, I feel so good and that's been one of the things with traveling with them and bringing them to new places and basically always being with them, I feel like this experience for the animals has been pretty amazing. Like Poppy gets a little bit nervous when we go to new locations and when we're leveling the trailer, it's really loud. So that makes her nervous, but all in all, she's been so happy and I think it's good for their health too. So I'll be definitely thinking about your baby tomorrow and I hope that you'll let me know how she does. Um, but it sounds like if she needs to get that tooth out, she's going to feel so much better after she does, which is so, so great. Um, I've been having a lot of people come on and they'll ask me for certain links and things. And just in case I forget to tell you guys, I do, they're often the same links, but I usually have links. So if you look below in the description, I do mention my favorite products and my things that I really like to use for my babies. Um, I think I'm probably going to update those soon because some of the links are on Amazon and I think Amazon, maybe certain sellers don't sell their products anymore um, and so on and so forth. So I just want to make sure that everything is current because I think there are a few links that I've put up there that don't work. So I'm going to go and test them and see if I need to update anything. Miss Millie says, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm so scared, but I assume so. She's only 2.3 kilograms. I will cry if they have to put her under, but I'm assuming your vet is really good, Miss Millie, right? But I know, I know what you mean. I also get really nervous every time my babies have to be under because they're so little. So I always feel stressed out until they call me and they say, 
your animal is just fine. Um, you know, there's no problems and then I feel better. So do you guys have any Thanksgiving plans coming up? Um, we are, so one of my clients from Boston, one of my clients that I colored her hair for years has moved out to California. And so we are going to go to my friend's house and have Thanksgiving. And I'm so excited to, we haven't really seen a lot of people since we've been traveling that I know. So I cannot wait to just give my client, my friend a hug and see her and also have her delicious food because when I lived in Boston she had me over quite a bit to her home and it is just a lovely place to be so those are my exciting plans and I cannot even wait um Jill says you fasted and prayed and it broke so many issues in my life amazing I got delivered from some problems in my life I know this probably sounds nuts but I would feel so guilty if I didn't say thank you oh my gosh Jill, it doesn't sound crazy. And um, I will say that if there's anything that I've learned from my health journey that I've been on for the past few years, um, I was very cynical at first. And I didn't really realize that your emotional health ties in so much to your physical health and that there's other things that tie into it. So I don't think it sounds nuts at all. Um, and I think that when you find peace inside of you, of course, it's going to help you find better health. Um, so I think it's a part of it. I actually have a video that I made when I was in Aspen and I didn't have time to put it up because I was actually getting, I was going to the doctor so many times and which was great, but I was sort of like getting better in between each appointment and doing so many things for my health. But I made an appoint or I made a video really about a healing mindset and, um, what it means to have a healing mindset and always bring yourself back to gratefulness because it is sometimes easy, like for me in my little journey, you know, that you guys know I've had with my health, there are times where sometimes you can get really upset and resentful because when this whole thing started, I was at the top of my game physically and I feel like it snatched away some years out of my life, not feeling well. But that said, there's so much to be grateful for. And I always focus, one thing I always focus on with health and with mine is that I have had to me, I think it's a gift that I've been able to talk about it. And it's a way that I'm able to cope with ever having gotten sick. Because when I made a, I made a video about getting sick from toxic mold, and I was really afraid to make it and I was afraid to share it. And I didn't like to tell people that I wasn't feeling well. The beautiful comments that I have gotten from people are, I can't even tell you, I read them, I read them to my husband, I send them to my mom. And it makes me feel like there is a reason why this happened to me. And if that reason is that I can bring awareness to it and let people know that, yes, getting sick from mold is actually a real illness and it's not in your head and it, it may or may not be that for certain people. But if I can bring other awareness and comfort to people and let them know that I had a great life and it really impacted my life and um, and even let them know, because there will be those people that will say, you know, like someone that, how do I say it, didn't like that I was sick because they felt that it was about them. And they said that I was making it up. And it's like, no, I don't think anybody would ever make such a thing up. I think if you had a fabulous life and you were like, for in my case, I was making a lot of money. My business was at the top of my game at its game. I was working for a modeling agency in New York and I had all this stuff and it kind of disappeared. But um, I always try to find the gratefulness in that and just say, well, it slowed me down and it helped me to help other people. So it's to me, it's all about mindset. And and I have to recon I always have to like recollect myself. Like I had a pretty tough day after I got my last IV treatment and I was feeling down about it. And I was feeling down about just that I have to deal with these things. But then I thought, if you think about gratefulness, you're so lucky you can pay for that ozone treatment. You're so lucky that you have a husband that's towing you around in a trailer. You have these babies to love you. So it's always like refocusing, bringing it back to being positive because we all, everybody has stuff to deal with, right? But we just focus on that positivity and appreciation and spiritual connection. It's all so important. I am so in agreement. Um, so nice, Miss Millie. Thank you so much for that. And it's important for our pets too. I know it sounds funny, but you know, like if our pets go through an illness and what have you, just remember that we are the ones that take care of them. We're the ones that set their environment and never give up. If your pet has an illness or an issue, Google, find solutions, do everything you can because your pet cannot do it for themselves. So it's your job to do it for your pet. 
because you can, you can always do it. Um, Jill says, I didn't come here to preach or anything like that. Just check out Kevin Ewing on YouTube. It was the last missing awesome component for me in terms of my health, hoping for the best for everyone. Thank you. Um, Brittany says, do you ever post ingredients of your cooking? That's actually something I really want to do, Brittany. So I'm planning on doing some cooking videos. I just like to do different things. Um, I, this, this past few weeks, just because like literally for the past 11 days, I've just been recovering since I got my ozone treatment. Um, this is my best day I've had since I got it. And, um, so I haven't really had the energy, but I am planning on doing it for sure. Um, I feel like anytime people look at my Instagram, like if you don't see me, it's usually that I'm going through some health things. So I'm a little bit quiet for a few days, but nothing has been bad. It's all been for a good reason because things are getting so much better. Um, I really want to though. So Brittany, the Korean barbecue recipe that we're making tonight is it, it actually really easy. It's not hard to make. Um, and it is one of the best recipes I have ever made in my entire life. My husband was actually saying when we made it, I mean, yes, it's Korean barbecue, so it's not Chinese food, but he was like, this is better than any Chinese food I've ever had in my entire life. Like the flavor is so good. It's just lots of really good ingredients. So we buy everything organic that we can possibly find. And basically it's chicken breast and then you make a sauce with um, soy sauce or if you some people like to use coconut aminos, um, fresh ginger, fresh garlic. Um, I think it's rice wine vinegar, sesame oil and some other things and you bake it in the oven. We might marinate it and just grill it just because grilling is so much easier in a trailer. And then with it, I make a really delicious ginger, garlic, um, fresh broccoli, and we put lime juice on it. So, so I've been getting together some of my very favorite healthy recipes. I alter some of them to make them. When I say healthy, I'm not trying to eat low fat or anything like that. I just try to eat good fats, um, but plenty of fat, plenty of protein, all grass fed, organic whenever possible. Um, sometimes you can't get those things. Like when we were in Aspen, it was a little bit tougher and I just got what I could at the market, but I do whatever I can to make things as helpful as I can. So yes, I'm definitely going to do that soon. I owe you guys some videos. And, um, one thing I'm so excited about that I can't remember if I told you guys before, but, um, I did not have a halo light for the first part of my traveling. And I have one now, which I'm not actually using it right now. I'm just using natural light because I mean, California has really good light, I have to say, but um, soon I'll be able to make more videos too, just because I have a halo light. It was a little bit tricky at first trying to film in here because um, it's it just depends on the light. And there are quite a few windows, but certain times it can be kind of dark in your RV. So now that I have a halo light, it's going to open me. She's so cute, isn't she? I love the pops. It's gonna open me up to be able to do so many different videos that I wasn't able to do before, which I'm super excited about. Um, Stacy, you would love that recipe. It's so good. That's one of my very favorites. I'm trying to think of another recipe that we've been making that I love is a really delicious sauteed um, lemon and white wine chicken. I'm not sure about doing it in here. The only thing about like, I love this little trailer, but we have a, pro a propane stove and it my husband has to turn it on. I feel so nervous about using the stove. When you open up the door, there's literally like a little fire going. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a scary stove. So I haven't sauteed anything. Um, it would probably be fine to do so. So I might try to do that. But me and my husband struggle with this area, not trying to be nosy, just curious. I So long story, Brittany, I don't actually know their mom, but hopefully I will someday. Um, I think... I don't know how to say it. I think it's just a, it's a relationship that will hopefully slowly evolve. Um, and I look forward to it, but, um, I think it's always, how do I say it? If you're not the first one, like I'm not my husband's first wife, it gets a little bit more complicated, but, um, anyway, she's done a beautiful, beautiful job and, um, raised his children, their children so beautifully. They're really amazing human beings. So I really respect her very much. Poppy is such a little baby. I always feel bad getting her up after her grooming because she's so, oh, look at that. You are so nice. She's such a baby. Look at that little face. I'm so in love with this little puppy. 
Well, I'm so happy that at least my second live stream, I was able to talk to you guys more and have a better connection and things. Um, I wanted to do one on Sunday, but Sunday was actually the day that we traveled from, um, gosh, we traveled from LA or no, not from LA, from Las Vegas to LA on Sunday and travel. We just knew it was going to be a really long day. So at first I was going to try to do one in the morning, but I wasn't feeling super, super great. Um, guys, this is so off the subject, but I need to show you my cowboy hats that I got when I was in Aspen. Hang tight. I have like a special little display mode for them um, over here. So there is a store called Kimo Sabe in Aspen. And unfortunately, or I would have absolutely like set up a real YouTube video, but they, first of all, you pick out your hat. For me, it's always, oh, my connection's unstable again. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so um, originally, I thought you just like picked up a hat and left with your hat. So I wasn't that excited about going. I just knew I wanted to get a hat. I have a really big head. It's always hard to find a hat that fits. It's really big. It's like a men's extra large. I don't know why it's so big. But anyway, picked out this hat and then you get to choose a band separately. And our friend Kristen actually works at the store. So she picked out my band and then they put feathers on for you, which is so cute. And they brand your hat as well. So I got two hats, which was not my intention. Um, this one, let me just make sure I always wind up putting it on backwards. This one is more my like city hat, which I love so much. It fits me a little to big head. It's okay. It's just how it is, but love this hat. It's a little bit looser. So when we went bull riding, this is not the hat that I wore because it was going to fly off of my head. Um, Thank you. Three Yorkies is plenty. It takes so long to groom them. I love them so much, but three Yorkies is definitely plenty. And then keep in mind, we have the cat who also needs to be brushed and things like that. So um, Alfie is still co-owned by the breeder and me. Um, and when they, when he, I guess he was having his last litter of puppies, I could have gotten one, but it just would have been too many dogs. I think it's like diminishing returns for me, especially where we want to travel and things. We don't have any more car seats for our Yorkies. Um, Stacy says, I have a big hat too and a round face, so hats don't do well with me. Uh, big head too. I knew what you meant. I have to show you guys my other one, and then I'm sure everybody wants to go and enjoy their days and whatnot, but I just had to show you these. Um, I had my husband put hooks up in the trailer because I was so excited about my hats, and I wanted to make sure that if I got them, I would actually wear them as well. So this is my other one that I got. I love this one. This was like why I actually went to get a real Stetson. And um, I just think it's like the cutest hat. So if you guys are ever in Aspen or I think they have them in Aspen, Vail, um, Las Vegas, they do these hats and they do them custom. And I love them. Go somewhere. So I guess I can't wear it every day, but I love them. Elfie is going to say, he just wants to say hi to you guys. He's in his little pants because... It's a million times easier to keep him in a pamps than to um, than to clean up after him. Um, and he actually does not like to go potty in his pamps. You're such a good boy. So usually as long as we put a pamps on him, he's really good. Linda, thank you so much. I love my hats. I had an uncle growing up that always wore a Stetson. So I really wanted one. And um, yeah, I think they're so cute. I've been wearing them a ton. And I think they're really great hats. It says, I love to watch Heartland. Anyone else? Lots of cowboy hats there. I haven't watched it, but I should definitely watch it. We, so we finally, now that we have our Starlink, we have hooked up to cable and things like that. So we can actually watch TV in our trailer, which feels really luxurious. I don't know why, but um, it's just so cute. I know I gave you guys a tour, but I can't even express to you what a cute little space this is. What a good boy. What a good boy. I know. He's like, I don't really want to wear pampers, but you kind of need to wear pampers. That's for sure. Brittany said, um, do you ever get homesick while being in the trailer? Um, at first, Brittany, yes. I got really homesick. Leaving my mom for me was the hardest thing I've ever done because my, my mom and I are so close and we've always lived, you know, like maximum an hour away from each other. 
Um, but I felt I knew it was important for my health. For one, I wanted to be with my husband as well. And, um, so it was really hard at first and I definitely cried a lot. If that makes any sense. Like I missed my mom. I missed my brother. Um, my, my coworkers who are also my friends, my friends, you know, all of that. But, you know, as we started to go to new places, Brittany, it was really exciting. And as we settled into this trailer and I started to see that it was really making a difference for my health, that was really nice too. And then, and I don't know, it's just, it's exciting. It's like nothing I've ever done. So guys, I think I am going to take a little walk outside because the California sunshine is calling me. Um, but I always love talking to you about all these, all these various things. Thanks for letting me show you my cowboy hats too. I know it's kind of funny, but it's like, when you don't have, I have so few possessions with me. I mean, it's very, very simple compared to the closet I used to have. And I threw away a lot of stuff if it had ever been in the basement of the moldy building that I lived in. So the excitement of just getting a few things was pretty major because I don't have that much stuff anymore. Um, but I don't really need that much stuff either. So um, there's nowhere to put it. But I always love chatting with you guys. Jell, it was so nice to see you. I hope you enjoy your evening as well. And guys, you, as always, you really brighten up my day. And always feel free to say hi anytime. I'm on Instagram as well. My The, the Instagram I really use is Megan Graham Fitness. So feel free to follow me and um, check my links out below. And always just comment. If this video is up, you can comment later. So it was really a pleasure to see you guys. Alfie says, stay healthy. <laughs> and stay beautiful and go outside, right? Do you want to go outside with mama? Do you like going outside? Do you want to go? He's so cute. I love him. Bye guys. I will see you guys again really soon. Okay. I'll try to announce it before the day of next time.